After his death in 1980, the memory of Peter Sellers lives on through his iconic roles in classics like the Pink Panther series and Doctor Strange Love. But beyond his comedic brilliance, Sellers led a complicated life fraught with personal struggles. Delving deeper into his past, we unveil a man contending with tumultuous relationships, internal strife, and mental health issues. This exploration reveals a contrast between the public persona of the actor and the private battle he faced daily. Dive into the intricacies of Seller's life, where success and fame intertwine with self-doubt and confusion. By examining his interactions with those close to him and understanding his mental health journey, we aim to shed new light on this multi-talented artist's enigmatic existence. Let us delve into the story of Peter Sellers, both the man and the myth, exploring the many facets of his experience as a celebrated entertainer wrestling with his inner demons. How did his relationships impact his work? What role did mental health play throughout his lifetime? Keep watching to learn more. Born into a show business family, Peter Sellers' early life was steeped in the world of entertainment. His parents, Bill and Peg Sellers, were vaudeville performers who provided their son with a lively, and sometimes chaotic upbringing during the 1930s. As the entertainment industry shifted towards cinema and radio, so did young Sellers' exposure to it. His formative years were spent at a Roman Catholic school, where he encountered a rich tapestry of cultural influences despite his parents' differing religious backgrounds. This diversity would later serve him well in his career, allowing him to adopt a wide range of personas and accents in his performances. Indeed, Sellers' ability to slip into different characters became one of his most celebrated talents as an actor. Despite the bustle of growing up amidst the entertainment landscape, Sellers found time to develop his own unique voice. He honed his craft through constant practice and experimentation, eventually becoming known for his chameleonic abilities on stage and screen. From his earliest roles, it was clear that this classic comedian had a rare gift for making people laugh while also capturing their hearts. Peter Sellers, the British actor famous for his roles in films like The Pink Panther, had a complex relationship with his mother Peg. She struggled with alcoholism, which created a tumultuous home environment for the young Sellers. Despite these challenges, Peter and Peg shared an intense bond, one that might have been unhealthy in its closeness. To escape the reality of his mother's struggles, Senders developed a knack for impersonation and adopted various characters. This talent would later become the cornerstone of his successful acting career. Sellers' formative years were further influenced by his father's choice to enroll him in a religiously diverse boarding school. Here, he was exposed to children from many backgrounds, fostering an innate ability to mimic accents, mannerisms, and behaviors. He often used these skills to entertain his classmates and distract himself from the troubles at home. In retrospect, it seems clear that this education played a pivotal role in sculpting the actor's unique skill set. As Peter Sellers grew into a talented performer, the lessons learned during his childhood remained etched in his psyche. Though his relationship with his mother was fraught with adversity, it undoubtedly fueled his passion for storytelling through character development. Meanwhile, the diversity of his schooling provided rich material for him to draw upon when crafting the multitude of memorable personalities seen throughout his illustrious career. Even from a young age, the actor Peter Sellers displayed a remarkable aptitude for comedy and impersonation. He used these skills as a way to cope with the difficulties he faced at home, including his parents' tumultuous relationship and their eventual separation. While he had a knack for making people laugh, his academic performance suffered greatly. In fact, his struggles became so severe that he was ultimately expelled from the prestigious Shattuck Military Academy. The instability that plagued his childhood set the stage for the personal and professional challenges that would mark much of his adult life. However, despite these obstacles, the actor persevered, going on to become one of the most celebrated comedians of his time. Through his work in film and television, he brought joy and laughter to countless audiences around the world, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and entertain today. After facing difficulties in military school and being unable to join the Royal Air Force, Peter Sellers turned to his passion for performing. In the 1940s, during World War II, he made his way to London and became fully immersed in the city's thriving theatrical scene. This was the start of a promising journey for the aspiring actor. It wasn't long before Sellers found himself studying under some of the most prominent figures in theater, including Elia Kazan and Stella Adler. These mentors played a crucial role in shaping his craft by introducing him to the teachings of Konstantin Stanislavski. 
Through their guidance, the actor learned to embrace the Stanislavski method, which significantly impacted how he approached developing complex and nuanced characters. As time went on, Sellers continued refining his skills and solidifying his place within the industry. With each passing project, it became clear just how deeply those early lessons had taken hold. As we look back on his remarkable career, one can easily see traces of the Stanislavski method woven throughout many iconic performances. And even now, these roles continue to resonate strongly among audiences worldwide. In the late 1940s, a young man named Peter Sellers began making a name for himself in the thriving world of British radio. This form of entertainment held great significance during the post-war era, providing a much-needed source of laughter and escapism for many people. For Sellers, it was the perfect platform to demonstrate his remarkable talents. The actor first appeared on the prestigious BBC network in 1948, marking the start of an exciting chapter in his professional journey. With his unique ability to create unforgettable characters through nothing more than the power of his voice, he quickly became a beloved figure in the world of radio comedy. Sellers had an uncanny knack for mimicking accents, intonation, and speech patterns, all crucial elements in crafting distinct personalities that left lasting impressions on audiences. He brought these characters to life with such authenticity and flair that listeners couldn't help but feel captivated by their stories. As time went on, the actor continued honing his skills and expanding his repertoire, solidifying his reputation as one of the most talented performers of his generation. Through countless shows and performances, he left an indelible mark on the landscape of British radio, forever changing the way people experience humor and storytelling through this classic medium. Peter Sellers' participation in the groundbreaking radio series, The Goon Show, proved to be a turning point in his career and British comedy as a whole. Alongside Spike Milligan and Harry Seacombe, the actor became known for his remarkable ability to bring various characters to life, each with their own distinct voice and personality. This classic program gained popularity due to its unique blend of surreal and innovative humor, pushing boundaries and challenging traditional comedic norms. The absurd skits and outrageous scenarios featured in The Goon Show laid the foundation for modern British comedy, making it a must-listen for anyone interested in the genre's rich history. The actor's talent for impersonation and character creation shone through in every episode, demonstrating his incredible range and adaptability. By seamlessly switching between different roles, he displayed a level of skill and finesse rarely seen in early broadcast entertainment. These performances foreshadowed the actor's successful transitions into both television and film projects later in his career. As part of the Goon Show Ensemble, Peter Sellers helped elevate audio comedy to new heights, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. His contributions continue to resonate today, inspiring generations of performers and writers alike. Delving into this classic radio program offers a fascinating glimpse into the origins of contemporary British humor and serves as a testament to the timeless appeal of the actor's extraordinary abilities. In the late 1940s, radio became a popular medium, offering numerous comedic programs featuring various artists. Among them was Peter Sellers, who gained recognition through his work in BBC Radio's The Goon Show. As technology advanced and audience preferences shifted toward visual storytelling, Sellers saw an opportunity to expand his career beyond radio. By the early 1950s, television had become increasingly accessible, leading to the rise of popular TV shows. Sellers recognized its potential and began appearing in several British comedy series. One notable role was playing a car salesman in the eye. TV sitcom The Idiot Weekly presents Ray Galton and Alan Simpson, which further solidified his status as a talented performer adaptable to different platforms. Soon after, Hollywood started taking notice of Sellers' unique comedic timing and acting abilities. He received offers to star in American films during the mid-1950s. This marked another significant milestone for the actor, crossing over into cinema while continuing his successful run on television. One of Sellers' earliest movie appearances was in the crime comedy film The Lady Killers, where he played one of the gang members alongside other esteemed British actors. Following the success, more substantial roles came pouring in, including those in I'm Alright Jack, and Only Two Can Play. These diverse roles demonstrated Sellers' remarkable range and versatility, captivating global audiences. Thus, throughout the years, Peter Sellers gracefully navigated the changing landscapes of entertainment, seamlessly moving between radio, television, and film. 
Each step taken by the actor allowed him to explore new creative avenues, reaching wider audiences, and leaving behind a rich legacy still admired today. With each project, Sellers continued pushing boundaries, forever etching his name among the greats of classical Hollywood cinema. The 1960s were a pivotal decade in the career of British actor Peter Sellers. He first gained international recognition for his role in the controversial film Lolita, where he played alongside Hollywood stars James Mason and Shelley Winters. In this movie, Sellers demonstrated his ability to portray complex and dark characters, capturing the attention of audiences worldwide. However, it was his subsequent work in comedy films that truly solidified his stardom. That same year, Sellers starred in the first installment of the beloved Pink Panther series, playing the bumbling yet lovable character Inspector Clouseau. Over time, the Pink Panther franchise became a classic, spanning multiple sequels over several decades. Through these movies, Sellers left an indelible mark on popular culture, becoming synonymous with comedic acting prowess. Perhaps one of the most remarkable collaborations in Sellers' career came when he worked with legendary director Stanley Kubrick on the satirical black comedy Dr. Strange Love, or How I Learned to Stop Worrying and Love the Bomb. In this film, Sellers took on the challenge of playing three distinctly different roles, Group Captain Lionel Mandrake, President Merkin Muffley, and Dr. Strange Love himself, displaying his impressive versatility and talent. This performance further cements his reputation as a comic genius who could seamlessly transform into various characters. To this day, Peter Sellers remains celebrated for his contributions to both dramatic and comedic genres during the 1960s. Whether through his unforgettable performances in Lolita and the Pink Panther series or his iconic depictions in Doctor Strange Love, the impact of his artistry continues to resonate among cinema lovers everywhere. Indeed, the legacy of this talented actor lives on inspiring future generations of performers, and delighting fans across the globe. Peter Sellers' personal life was often overshadowed by his professional success as an actor. His romantic life was particularly turbulent, marked by several marriages and numerous affairs. Sellers married Anne Howe in 1951, when he was still trying to establish himself in the entertainment industry. However, their union came to an end in 1963 after it was revealed that Sellers had been having an extramarital affair. This infidelity caused significant distress between the couple, eventually leading to their divorce. Following his split from Howe, Sellers quickly remarried Britt Eklund, a Swedish actress, just two months later. Unfortunately, their relationship proved equally unstable, plagued by intense arguments and allegations of physical abuse. Despite these issues, they remained together until 1968. The actor then went on to marry Miranda Quarry in 1970. But even this union could not escape the pattern of volatility that seemed to follow him. They divorced in 1974 amidst reports of bitter disagreements and emotional discord. His fourth and final marriage took place in 1977 to Lynn Frederick, who was significantly younger than Sellers. Their time together was punctuated by frequent hospitalizations due to the actor's failing health. After Sellers' death in 1980, disturbing revelations emerged regarding Frederick's behavior during her husband's illness. She reportedly manipulated medical staff, controlled access to visitors, and isolated Sellers towards the end of his life. These repeated patterns suggest that Sellers struggled deeply with issues related to identity and self-worth, which played out dramatically in his interpersonal relationships. He continually sought solace outside of his current partnerships, unable to find peace or stability within them. Peter Sellers, the renowned actor, faced significant health challenges throughout his career. At the young age of 38, he suffered his first heart attack. This unfortunate event was likely brought on by his high-stress lifestyle and struggles with substance abuse. The actor's poor health habits took a toll on both his personal life and professional commitments. His physical condition and mental health issues led to erratic behavior on set, causing tension and uncertainty among his colleagues. Despite these difficulties, Sellers continued to work in the industry delivering memorable performances in films like Being There and Dr. Strange Love. As time went on, the actor's health problems worsened. He experienced multiple heart attacks, undergoing numerous surgeries and procedures. These medical interventions, combined with his ongoing struggle with addiction, made it increasingly difficult for him to fulfill his obligations. In some cases, producers had to make last-minute changes to accommodate his unpredictable schedule and behavior. Despite the challenges he faced, Peter Sellers remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. His talent and charisma shone through in every role, 
leaving a lasting impression on audiences around the world. However, one cannot help but wonder what more he could have accomplished if not for his health and substance abuse issues. Peter Sellers' impact on film and comedy is undeniable. Despite his personal struggles and controversies, his work continues to inspire and entertain audiences worldwide. Born in 1925, the actor began his career in British radio before moving on to films. Sellers had a unique ability to fully immerse himself in his roles, often disappearing completely into his characters. This talent left an indelible mark on comedy and acting. He became known for playing multiple parts in the same production, most notably in Dr. Strange Love, where he played three distinct roles. His performances were praised for their depth and nuance, earning him several award nominations throughout his career. However, behind the scenes, Sellers faced numerous challenges, including marital issues and health problems. Tragically, these difficulties took a toll on the actor's life. In 1980, at the age of 54, Peter Sellers passed away due to a heart attack. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, leaving behind a void that has yet to be filled. Yet despite this loss, the legacy of Peter Sellers lives on. His groundbreaking work paved the way for future generations of comedians and actors. Today, fans still marvel at his uncanny ability to bring humor and humanity to even the most outlandish characters. Through his films, the actor continues to captivate audiences and remind us of the power of great storytelling. In the star-studded world of cinema, few have left a mark as indelible as Peter Sellers. Born Richard Henry Sellers on September 8, 1925, in South Sea, England, he started his showbiz journey early. By age 20, he was already part of the BBC Radio's legendary Goon Show team. Sellers soon made the leap to television and films, demonstrating his remarkable range. He became known for playing multiple roles in a single production, often blurring the lines between sanity and madness, reality and illusion. His performances were always unpredictable, making them all the more captivating. One of his most iconic roles came in 1964 when he played the bumbling Inspector Clouseau in The Pink Panther. Despite the character's comedic nature, Sellers brought depth and nuance, turning it into a beloved franchise. Interestingly, he never watched these movies himself, claiming they gave him nightmares. Yet, life wasn't always rosy for Sellers. Personal struggles marked his career, including failed marriages and health issues. But through it all, he continued acting, even learning to walk again after suffering a heart attack during the filming of Ghost in the Noonday Sun in 1973. Peter Sellers passed away on July 24, 1980, leaving behind a legacy that continues to resonate today. With over 60 films under his belt, each one bears witness to his unique talent, humor, and vulnerability, reminding us why we cherish his contributions to the tapestry of cinematic history. Peter Sellers was born in South Sea, England, in 1925 to Bill Sellers, a billiard hall manager, and Agnes D. Albiak Marx, a pianist and actress. His childhood was marked by frequent moves due to his father's work, which exposed him to various environments and people. This nomadic lifestyle contributed to his ability to adapt to different roles and accents throughout his acting career. Sellers' parents had a significant influence on his interest in show business. His mother encouraged his talent for impersonation while his father provided practical guidance on managing finances in the entertainment industry. However, it wasn't until he joined the Royal Air Force during World War II that Sellers began performing professionally, entertaining troops through radio broadcasts. After leaving the military, Sellers pursued an acting career, joining the Entertainment's National Service Association. He met Spike Milligan, Harry Sikom, and Michael Benteen, forming the iconic comedy troupe known as The Goons. Their unique blend of surreal humor greatly impacted Sellers' comedic style and shaped his future success. Throughout his illustrious career, Peter Sellers continued honing his skills under the tutelage of influential figures like Stanley Kubrick, Blake Edwards, and Frank Launder. These collaborative relationships allowed Sellers to delve into diverse genres and further develop his versatility as an actor. From drama to satire and everything in between, Sellers left an indelible mark on Hollywood inspiring generations of performers to come. Growing up in a family of entertainers, it's said that Peter Sellers' passion for acting was sparked at a young age. His father ran a variety theater where Sellers would watch performances enraptured by the artistry around him. At six years old, he received his first drum kit, igniting his love for performing further. He began playing alongside his parents during their acts. However, one fateful day, the regular pianist failed to show up. With no other option, 
the young seller stepped in, discovering his natural talent for impersonation while attempting to mimic the missing musician's style. This pivotal experience convinced both Sellers and his family that he belonged on stage. By the time he turned 12, Sellers had already decided to become a professional actor, embarking on a journey that would lead him to become one of Britain's most beloved comedians. Born Richard Henry Sellers in 1925, the man who would become Peter Sellers struggled financially during his early life. His father ran a failed restaurant, leaving the family in debt. As a result, Sellers had to work odd jobs to support himself. Despite these hardships, he discovered a love for performing and honed his skills in various entertainment venues. Sellers' big break came when he joined the British Army's Royal Air Force Entertainment Unit during World War II. He began performing comedy skits and impressions, which caught the attention of veteran comedians. However, upon leaving the RAF, Sellers' path to stardom wasn't straightforward. Industry insiders doubted his talent and questioned whether he could succeed outside military entertainment. Determined to prove them wrong, Sellers worked tirelessly to improve his craft. He took acting lessons and performed in small clubs across England. Eventually, his perseverance paid off, landing him roles in BBC radio programs alongside fellow aspiring actors Spike Milligan and Harry Sikkim. Together, they formed the groundbreaking radio show The Goon Show, solidifying Sellers' place among Britain's top comedic talents. Despite gaining recognition in radio, Film executives remained hesitant about casting Sellers due to his unconventional looks and style. To counteract this bias, Sellers relied on his versatility, impersonation abilities, and character creation skills. In his first major movie role, playing three different characters in The Mouse That Roared, he proved that he was more than just a one-trick pony. This performance opened doors for future opportunities, including iconic parts like Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther series. Throughout his career, Peter Sellers overcame numerous obstacles by remaining persistent, refining his talent, and adapting creatively. With each challenge, he emerged stronger, further cementing his legacy as a beloved actor and influential figure in Hollywood history. And so, even after facing initial doubts and setbacks, Sellers built a remarkable career marked by indelible performances that continue to resonate today. Peter Sellers' rise to fame began in the late 1950s when he starred in the British comedy series The Goon Show. His unique ability to play multiple roles in one scene caught the attention of filmmakers, leading to his first major movie role in I'm Alright Jack. Critics praised his performance, and he won the BAFTA Award for Best Actor. In 1963, Sellers took on the iconic role of Inspector Clouseau in The Pink Panther, which became a massive hit, and solidified his status as a Hollywood star. Director Blake Edwards said, Peter had a rare gift for physical comedy and could create humor out of the smallest gestures. Sellers' breakthrough into American cinema came with his role in Doctor Strange Love, where he played three different characters. The film received widespread critical acclaim, and Sellers' performances were highly praised. Stanley Kubrick, the director, stated, Peter's talent is boundless. He has the ability to transform himself into anyone and anything. One of Sellers' most memorable roles was in Being There, where he portrayed a simple-minded gardener who becomes involved in political affairs. His nuanced performance earned him a Golden Globe Award and an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. Actress Shirley MacLaine, who co-starred in the film, described working with Sellers as a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Peter had a way of making even the simplest lines funny and poignant. Throughout his career, Peter Sellers continued to push boundaries and deliver unforgettable performances. His contributions to comedy have left a lasting impact, inspiring generations of actors and comedians. Peter Sellers was known for his extraordinary ability to transform into various characters. His artistic vision was deeply rooted in his capacity to explore different aspects of human nature. He once stated, I can't deny being a chameleon I've been so many people. This statement encapsulates his unique style and approach to acting. Sellers never limited himself to one genre or type of character. Instead, he constantly sought out new challenges, pushing the boundaries of his craft. For instance, he played three distinct roles in Stanley Kubrick's classic film Dr. Strange Love, President Merkin Muffley, Group Captain Lionel Mandrake, and Dr. Strange Love himself. Each role required a completely different persona, voice, and physicality, which Sellers executed flawlessly. His personal experiences greatly influenced his work. Having grown up during World War II, Sellers often incorporated elements of satire and dark humor into his performances, reflecting his observations about society amidst conflict. 
In fact, much of his early career was spent performing comedy skits on British radio, where he developed his knack for accents and comedic timing. Despite his comic genius, Sellers also delivered powerful dramatic performances. One notable example is his portrayal of Chance the Gardener in Being There, for which he received critical acclaim. Despite suffering from health issues towards the end of his life, Sellers continued to challenge himself artistically until his untimely death in 1980. Throughout his career, Peter Sellers demonstrated an unparalleled commitment to his art form. By delving deep into the complexities of each character he inhabited, he left behind a legacy that continues to inspire actors today. Peter Sellers, a British actor born on September 8, 1925, left an indelible mark on the film industry. His ability to fully immerse himself into diverse roles was exceptional. According to David Thompson, a renowned film critic, Sellers didn't just play different parts, he became them. His groundbreaking performance in the 1963 hit, The Pink Panther, where he played the bumbling detective, Inspector Clouseau, showcases his comedic genius. This character has since become iconic, influencing numerous comedy films and actors who followed. As Richard Russo, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author, noted, Sellers raised the bar for physical comedy, his timing impeccable, his expressions priceless. Sellers also demonstrated his dramatic range in films like Being There, earning him critical acclaim, and an Academy Award nomination. He portrayed Chance, a naive gardener who becomes entangled in political intrigues, displaying a depth and vulnerability that contrasted sharply with his comic roles. Director Terry Gilliam once commented on Sellers' impact, stating, Peter Sellers broke down barriers between comedy and drama. He showed us that humor can reveal profound truths about humanity. Moreover, Sellers pioneered the concept of method acting in comedy, blurring the lines between reality and fiction. For instance, during the filming of Dr. Strangelove, Sellers adopted three distinct accents and personalities for his roles. Group Captain Lyle Mandrake, President Merkin Muffley, and Dr. Strange Love himself. Indeed, Peter Sellers' legacy continues to resonate today. Many contemporary comedians acknowledge his influence, striving to bring the same level of authenticity and innovation to their craft. Comedy, as we know it, would undoubtedly look quite different without Peter Sellers' contributions. Peter Sellers was known for his dedication to charity work. In particular, he supported the International Performers Art Foundation, which aimed to help aspiring actors and actresses. He also used his platform to raise awareness for various causes, including nuclear disarmament. Outside of his acting career, Sellers had a love for music and often incorporated it into his films. For instance, in The Party, he played several instruments and even sang. His passion for music extended beyond his professional life, as he enjoyed playing the drums and piano in his free time. Sellers' unique sense of humor and playful personality were reflected in both his personal and professional life. Despite facing personal struggles, including multiple marriages and health issues, he remained optimistic and continued to bring joy to others through his work. Family was also essential to Sellers. Although his relationships with them could be tumultuous at times, he cherished his children and made sure to spend quality time with them when possible. Overall, Peter Sellers led a rich and fulfilling life outside of his acting career. His passions and values were evident in his work, and he left behind a lasting impact on the entertainment industry and those around him. Whether supporting charitable causes or pursuing his musical hobbies, Sellers always stayed true to himself, making him a beloved figure in Hollywood. Peter Sellers left an undeniable mark on the film industry. His ability to take on diverse roles was truly remarkable. From his comedic genius in the Pink Panther series to his dramatic performances in films like Being There, Sellers proved himself a versatile actor. He brought each character to life with nuance and depth, creating unforgettable performances that continue to resonate today. For those hoping to follow in his footsteps, Sellers might advise embracing change and taking risks. He once said, I want to be someone else, somebody new, every time. This willingness to explore different aspects of humanity allowed him to connect with audiences in unique ways. Aspiring actors could learn from his example by staying open to new experiences and pushing themselves out of their comfort zones. Moreover, Sellers understood the importance of hard work and dedication. Despite his success, he never stopped honing his craft. In fact, he reportedly studied under renowned acting coach Lee Strasberg late in his career. This commitment to growth and self-improvement serves as another valuable lesson for anyone looking to make their mark in the entertainment industry. 
Finally, Sellers believed in staying true to oneself. When asked about his approach to comedy, he explained, I don't think I've ever mimicked anybody because it's got to come from you. By tapping into his own creativity and individuality, Sellers created some of the most memorable characters in cinema history. Today's aspiring professionals can benefit from this wisdom by trusting their instincts and allowing their authentic selves to shine through in their work. Peter Sellers, a man of immense talent, was born on September 8, 1925, in South Sea, England. From his early days, he showed a keen interest in performing arts, leading him to join the Royal Air Force's Entertainments Unit during World War II. This marked the beginning of his passionate journey in the entertainment industry. Sellers' innovative spirit shone brightly in his groundbreaking work as a radio performer, where he honed his skills in impersonation and character creation. His unique ability to slip into various roles effortlessly caught the attention of filmmakers, eventually landing him a role in the iconic British comedy series The Goon Show. His breakthrough came when he starred in the classic film The Lady Killers, which led to a string of successful performances throughout the late 50s and early 60s. However, it was his portrayal of Inspector Clouseau in the Pink Panther films that catapulted him to international stardom and solidified his status as a Hollywood heavyweight. Peter Sellers' influence extended beyond his captivating acting abilities. He challenged conventional norms by embracing diverse characters, often breaking free from racial and societal stereotypes. Through his powerful storytelling, he left an indelible mark on cinema, forever changing the way audiences perceived humor and performance. Throughout his career, Sellers faced numerous personal struggles, but never let them deter his creative pursuits. Instead, these challenges fueled his determination and allowed him to craft some of the most memorable performances in cinematic history. As we reflect upon Peter Sellers' life and legacy, it becomes evident that creativity and perseverance can lead to extraordinary outcomes despite adversity. So, step into the vibrant landscape of artistic expression, embrace your passions, and remember, much like Peter Sellers, you too have the power to change the world through your imagination and resilience. Let's take a moment to appreciate the late, great Peter Sellers. This British actor was a true master of his craft, known for his ability to slip into various roles with ease. From playing multiple characters in the Pink Panther series to his chilling performance in Doctor Strange Love, Sellers never failed to impress. His career spanned over four decades, and he left behind an impressive body of work that continues to inspire aspiring actors today. His unique comedic style and character versatility etched him a special place in Hollywood's heart. It's fascinating how Sellers could transform himself so completely for each role, almost like donning different masks. Each persona was distinct yet equally captivating. He truly brought these fictional characters to life, making them relatable and memorable. Now it's your turn. What do you think about Peter Sellers' acting skills? Did any particular performance stand out for you? Share your thoughts below. We would love to hear from you. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed our tribute to Peter Sellers. Feel free to share this post with fellow film enthusiasts who might appreciate it too. And while you're here, why not subscribe for more exciting content about the talented individuals shaping the entertainment industry.